Hello and welcome back to Fan Geek Tastic. Now today I am going to be talking about how to properly ship comic books. This one is in response to a video that I saw by another YouTuber where he says the correct way to ship comic books. I'm using this comic book because I have like 60 of these things and they're basically dollar store comic books. These are types of comic books that I use to, uh, to practice whenever I was learning how to uh, press comic books. So basically what he did is he says you take your comic book, you stick it on your board, put down a piece of tape, and another piece of tape, and you got it stuck to that. And then you take another piece of board, cardboard, and then you stick it inside your mailer. And that's how he was telling people to ship comic books. And I'm doing this exactly the same way that he did, which is these lines here are all going in the exact same direction, which means once you ship it, you stick it inside your, your package, and get it all sent off. And the first thing that happens whenever they get it to the distribution center is it ends up getting stuck underneath something. This box here, the pro set cards. Okay. So now it is thoroughly stuck underneath something. Be it uh, while it's being shipped or whenever it's going to be delivered. This box up here is going to be delivered to a house three and a half miles from where you live. This is going to your house which is the next house that he's delivering to and what does he do he grabs it and he bends the crap out of it because all the lines are going in the same direction now let me move this thing back out of the way and show you what happened to this comic book as you can see it is not in the same condition that it started off in it now has a nice little bend to it, and if this wasn't a dollar bend comic book, then someone would be very upset. Now, there are ways of getting around this, and that is to use something that has more strength to it. And it doesn't have to be wood or, you know, putting it in a crate or anything like that. That, that would be overdoing it. But I have sent uh, comic books with press board on each side instead of cardboard. I have another one here that's undamaged has no bend to it and if you look at these you can see there's a line going across here where it can bend this is not 100% necessary to get rid of but uh, generally I use ones that don't have it so if you don't want to build or buy a, uh, a fold-up comic book shipper what you do at this point is pretty much the same thing that he did. Only thing is, is he went less than what you really need to do. I always take one side, go beyond, and then fold it over so that the person who's getting the comic book can undo it easily. Okay. Next, you put the top on. And you put a piece of tape on the top and on the bottom, or on the bottom and on the top, however you want to look at it. And then you take ones, if you look at this, you can see the lines are going up and down from top to bottom. And you take ones where the lines are going the opposite direction, the corrugation. And then you uh, tape these down. It's better if you use uh, packaging tape. It has a tendency to stick better than the uh, scotch tape. And now at this point it probably will not fit in a regular priority mail. Now you can make it a little shorter so it will. It looks like it, this 
this length that I made these are going to fit. And there we go. We have double the strength and just to prove it and I will pull it back up. And at that point once you open it up, there are no new extra lines in it, and the comic book is going to get to the customer in the same shape that he bought it in, the same shape that you packaged it in. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, or you found it useful, give it a like. If you enjoy multiple videos by me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for everything you're a fan of, and everything you geek out about. This is Fan Geek Tastic, and we're here for you.